This is Terraria, the 2D action-adventure sandbox game. You may be wondering what the aim of this game might be. Well, it's simple. Defeat the final boss, the Moon Lord. To do so, you will need to improve your weaponry and armour, as well as find new and improved accessories. Obtaining these will require you to fight bosses, explore new areas, defeat hordes of monsters, and build a safe base with fighting arenas. When you load up Terraria, you'll be greeted with this screen. Let's hop into single player. At the start of the game, you won't have any characters, so let's just create a new one. You can change the mode of their game, Journey being creative, Classic being the regular mode, Medium Core and Hardcore being very unforgiving modes. You can change whether they're male or female. That won't change any of the gameplay aspects, just what they look like. You can change the style of all the other things, but let's just hop straight in. Give the character a name, click on them, and then you will have to build a world. Let's create a new one. You'll be given the choice of name, seed, and all of these other options. The name and seed aren't too important, so let's just move on. In a small world, you won't have all of the unique structures as you will on a large world. However, it's much quicker to get around and much easier to get to the places you want to. So just start with a small world. Journey mode is for those who want to play a creative sort of mode, and expert and master mode are very tricky. I recommend starting with classic and learning the ropes. At the start you want to play a corruption world, as it's a lot simpler to learn and there's not so much variation in the enemies to learn about. Let's hop straight in. Once your world is created, just click play. Here you are. So you've just hopped into Terraria. What do you do? Notice the hotbar in the top left and you'll see you have a sword, pickaxe and axe. Your first task is to chop some wood and build a small safe house. Build a workbench using the crafting screen and kill some slimes to make torches. To survive this hostile world, you will need some weapons. Nighttime specifically will be dangerous, so use your pickaxe to collect some stone and craft a bow and arrows or a sword at the workbench. To advance, you will need to explore. First off, Move along the surface of your world to break pots and loot chests for improved gear. Explore until you reach the more dangerous areas. The jungle, corruption and antline desert specifically. Keep safe within the snow and forest biomes. Once you reach danger, return to your base or a cave nearby and start to dig down to find ores, underground chests and heart crystals which will permanently increase your health. Return to your base using ropes or a recall potion and build a furnace to smelt your ores and an anvil out of iron bars. The starting guide NPC will show you what kind of weapons and armour you can craft with these items and if this video gets 100 likes I'll put a full playthrough on this channel on the hardest difficulty. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Once you've done some exploring in the safe areas, you should be pretty set up. You can head to the jungle or the corruption and collect some resources, or even some more heart crystals. Bring these items to the guide and you can see what to do with them. Once you have enough max health, the first boss may spawn at night. The 
jungle and the corruption also have their own bosses. You may want to try and fight them. Every map has a dungeon on one side. To get in, you'll have to defeat a boss by talking to the NPC at night and spawning him. By now, you should be strong enough to explore the entire world. You'll want to head deep down into the underworld and fight a boss there. That will unlock the second half of the game. Now, you know how to get started. Go ahead and explore your Terraria world. Subdue the evil and bring your righteous rule over the monsters of this land. If you have any questions, ask us in the comments. Let me know what class you want me to play for the Journey's End update. And I hope you're doing well. Goodbye.